It's already started. From the USA, we will answer to the local church to draw out a business plan and other logistics of establishing schools of that kind. The delegation visited President Festus Mohai to declare their interest. The idea of these international schools, uh, of course, is to uh, partake in the country's uh, drive in terms of educating the nation, but also to offer a spiritual base in terms of moral uh, grounding for future students. But the other unique thing about it is that we want to offer first-class innovative education, which will target the different talents of students. And we have uh, worked very hard to do the research and interviews and travel to Francistown and Cabaroni. And uh, uh, people in your administration as well have just opened the doors to information and access that we could not have anticipated. President Mohai, who acknowledges this initiative, says at the top of his government's policy is education for all. And this noble idea could not have come at a better time. Education and training is a priority in this country. It has been a priority, continues to be a priority. It takes about a third of our educational budget. Uh, uh, so that is an area, from our point of view, educational expansion and growth, an area of greatest need in our own plans and, and, and be part of our program for the realization of our aspirations. Uh, aspirations. The schools, according to Mwamba, will target both privileged and underprivileged students. Dinet Habana, Kuzana Television, Kaburoni. And just to add to that, the president was briefed uh, by, the, by the Anglican Church last week before he left for the Seychelles. Moving on, former Youth Parliament President Gatisoni.